In this video, I'm gonna share my experience with NNDMT. Now, as far as DMT goes, uh, one thing to clear up is there are um, two forms of DMT that most people are referring to when they speak of DMT. There is NNDMT, which is like the standard that most people are referencing. And then there also is a second form of DMT called Bufo Alvaris or 5-MeO DMT, which comes from the Sonoran Desert Toad. Uh, but for this, I am going to be speaking about NNDMT and my experience. So my first time uh, smoking NNDMT was a hell of an experience. Uh, we were at a friend's place quite a few years ago. I smoked it out of the apparatus that my partner was holding and all of a sudden his hand, which was holding the apparatus with the smoke in it, started to fractal. And when his hand started to fractal right in front of me, that's when I blasted off into a whole different realm. And so essentially then what happened during my trip was I went into this gray space. Um, it is what I would feel would be the place that your soul resides between lives. And the feeling there, there was an overwhelming feeling of love and acceptance as well as this knowingness. And it just felt like a really beautiful place. And essentially during the 15 or so minute trip, I was just in this different realm, in this gray realm of all of these beautiful feelings. And I felt absolutely amazing. Uh, so amazing that I actually started to cry, which concerned the people around me who were journeying with me. They were wondering what the hell was going on during my trip. Uh, but they didn't know that my experience was so beautiful being in that other realm that I didn't actually want to come back to this physical realm. I wanted to stay there and I was crying because I realized that I would have to come back here. So it was a really beautiful experience and it touched me in a deep way because I feel as if, like I mentioned, it is that place that the soul goes to before and after life. When I did finally start to come back to this realm, um, it was wild because <laughs> I had three aliens stand over top of me and wave goodbye to me. And that was my only interaction in that trip with different life forms and it kind of like <laughs> it didn't feel weird it didn't feel scary it just felt like holy shit you know like it surprised the hell out of me after that experience with NNDMT uh I took a very long break from doing DMT I had a lot to process I uh I didn't want to take it again anytime soon because that experience was so heavy for me to unpackage and understand and process that I didn't want to do it again. I, I still had enough work that had to be done after that last experience. Something to know about DMT, any version of it, is that no two experiences are totally the same. And I found that out my second time doing NNDMT. Now, as I mentioned, I was really apprehensive to do DMT again, and it took me a few years before I smoked DMT a second time. And that experience was completely different than my first experience. Uh, during the second experience, I saw the machine elves that a lot of people talk about. Uh, it's really weird and it's hard to put into words, really, without sounding crazy. But uh, essentially what happened during the second time smoking DMT was off in the corner of my vision, uh, I could see a lot of weird stuff going on. Essentially it was just a lot of old timey cartoons up in the corner of my vision, just going from one scene to the next with some DMT elves dancing around. Uh, it was a really crazy experience and if my first experience with DMT would have looked like what my second experience was, I probably would have been turned off to it uh, because it just, for me, I mean, it's cool. That, that's cool to see that stuff, but uh, I'm also looking for like riveting things to happen. And so, um, yeah, DMT is something that's totally different. It is something that can really help you to break out of patterns. But in my personal experience, I don't believe that just NNDMT 
is something that you could take and it can totally change your life. Now, that's not to say that other people would argue differently than me because a lot of people have had really awesome experiences on uh, and, and DMT and it's changed their lives. But when you have experienced other things like, you know, ayahuasca, which is extended DMT, and you have done five MEO DMT or magic mushrooms, uh, a little trip where you see a bunch of cartoon elves dancing and stuff isn't as riveting as all the other psychedelics. So it's something that, you know, if you have the opportunity and it aligns with you and you feel called to take it, by all means, try it out. <laughs> But uh, yeah, it's just, it's not necessarily on my radar so much as all of these other healing uh, medicinal plants and fungi are. If you found this video helpful, go ahead and give it a likes up. Please feel free to share your experience with either NMDMT or 5MEO DMT below. And also please go ahead and subscribe to my channel. If you enjoy my message and want to support what I share, please go ahead and find me on Patreon or also look me up on Instagram. And if you're interested in learning more about my two experiences with 5-MEO DMT, check the description below as well because I share two different videos sharing what those journeys have been like.